Hi guys, welcome back to another pick a card reading. So excited because this one is going to be about your partner or your future spouse or whatever you got in mind, okay? <laughs> Sexual thoughts, desires and fantasies, okay? We're going to get some info, info today. So make sure you choose your pies wisely. You can choose more than one pile, whatever you're drawn to. It could be all three. It could be one, two or three. We have three piles to choose from. For power one, we have confidence. Power two, we have dreams. Power three, we have reconciliation. So for each part, I have three crystals to choose from as well. And we have three hearts. So power one, I have this heart for you. Power two, we have this little round heart. And power three, we have this little tiny heart. Okay. Whichever charm you're drawn to, go ahead and also choose your charms, your cards, or just your favorite pile, okay? Whichever you're drawn to, it's all up to you. So make sure you go ahead and check out your timestamps, which will be in the description section, okay? And let's jump into your reading. I can't wait to find out because, yeah, this is something that you guys love me doing and you always want me to do more. So here we go. All right, hope you enjoy. Hello, pal one. Welcome to your reading. So we have this heart charm for you guys that's what he was drawn to or he was drawn by the confidence card so with this card already i'm seeing that your partner or you especially your partner okay is very confident okay this is what they're all about we're all talking about your their thoughts we're talking about their fantasies desires how they're feeling around you confident Okay, they're going to be feeling confident if you haven't seen them in a long time. If you see them every day, you know, it could be different people watching. So for power one, your person is confident. You make them feel confident. They're always confident. They try to be confident, you know, take take that. Confidence can be many different things. So, yeah, you make them confident, you know, and or you bring out that confidence in them. So they love that about you. They love that about you. Uh, or you love that about them <laughs> willpower is next so this person has a lot of willpower they're not scared they're not shy um they can take on anything i feel like they feel that they can take on anything when it comes to you especially in the bedroom situation i feel like they know that they can do anything okay they have the willpower and the strength to do anything i feel like this person with this woman here i feel like lifting up the world i feel like this person I feel like they can lift you up as well i'm not not really um shy about anything they will try anything they look like a person that will want to travel with you as well i feel like with the world they want to take you everywhere they want to do a lot of things adventurous but they do have the willpower and the confidence to you know they keep things spicy and i feel like this person is very very adventurous for some reason yeah i feel very adventurous confident fun yeah they're very very fun i feel like in the bedroom and just in general okay is this meant to be reversed i don't think so let's see we have 39 raindrops take a chance on them so they are trying to take a chance in you or you're trying to take a chance in them now you're probably seeing them in a different light and thinking oh this person looks interesting or this person has a lot to do or say you know let me see if they can back up it basically like can they walk the walk can they talk the talk if they're talking the talk and they walk it like can you can you prove what you're saying you know so you're ready to take a chance in them you want to see how confident they really are you want to see if everything they're saying is true and how they're truly feeling about you so their thoughts is could be the same as yours you know they want to take a chance in you you want to take a chance in them and yeah, they have the willpower and the strength to, I feel like this person definitely want to come forward to show you the world, to show you what they can do, to show you also their strength um, <laughs> in the bedroom. But I feel like they definitely is a fun person, a bit adventurous person, probably even a spontaneous person as well. But I feel like they're very confident and you also bring out this in them. And I feel like they will also bring out the confidence in you especially because we're talking about explicit stuff so we have um i don't think these are meant to be in reverse i think the whole thing was in reverse by accident um three of shells playfulness and bliss wow didn't i just talk about that 
this person is very playful you have a lot of playfulness going on you're going to be feeling very blissful happy joy you're going to be <laughs> this person is going to have you running around in circles look at that you're going to be just happy joyful i like that this is what you need in your life power one if you haven't had it in a while this is what you need okay you need some playfulness you need somebody that's going to take a chance in you and just show you the world you know whether it be in the bedroom whether it be in general but you need some happiness you need some joy and it's definitely coming for you if you haven't got it already this person is thinking these things and wanting these things okay so i'm going to show you guys next some cards and these cards are good just basically the desires and fantasy or like just stuff they want to do to you okay so the first card is the ladder loving look at that that's that's very very um spontaneous that's like it in the pool i told you this guy he said just add water oh, that's that's funny this person here a man or a woman doesn't matter who you are watching you are having somebody here that's very spontaneous very very fun loving and they, they're gonna do anything anywhere this is look like it's in a pool guys so you guys are gonna be traveling let's say i feel like travel is definitely on the card you're just going places and having fun you know not giving a crap really who's around okay yes you see a show you guys are going to be putting on a show frisky flow show or floor show okay this guy likes i feel like one of you or both of you kind of like it from the back look at this the back the back show okay somebody's like okay let's just all right so it's not only the back we have the lusty leg lift leg lifting and everything going on you know so you have to be very very flexible you definitely need to get your stretching on your yoga <laughs> you need to stay flexible by one okay that's all i'm trying to say so we have a lot of you know spontaneous stuff but i feel like it's definitely fun for you guys and um, we have the lap limbo next we have lots of cards for you today so i'm hoping you're going to enjoy this so yeah we have lots for you to do lots for you to see this one is a very very good one actually look at that the chat that's a challenge for you guys okay these are a challenge this is pleasure pick me up didn't i tell this person feel i feel like this person wanted to pick you up just like the willpower card and i feel like it's coming out more and more as i go through these cards so definitely a strong person could be strong in build but just like a person that want to show off as i said a confident person tantalizing tangle all right that's that's nice okay and then lastly we have the carnal scissors or it's crisscross i don't know why it's all scissors carnal crisscross this looks challenging too <laughs> okay so that's what you guys get so which one are you liking which one would you try what do you think do you think this is, these are right do you think your person is like this um i definitely see a lot for you guys pile one but i know that you guys probably can manage it you probably want it anyways because you are looking for someone playful you know you're looking for some happiness in your life some joy um you definitely have a lot of pleasure going on and as i said this person is a very confident and they really want to show you that so if they've been talking the talk i feel like this person can walk the walk too okay so i'm gonna get some additional stuff and then your initials power let's see what we can get for you about your person so Power one, we have faith. So have faith in this person. I feel like they want you to have faith in them. Um, they want to come forward. They probably want to tell you, not only show you these things. They want. I feel like you need to have faith in them and trust them as well. Um, yeah. They want to have faith in them, especially with the heart. I feel this person do have a heart for you. They feel like feeling isolated so some of them could have been feeling isolated you could have been feeling isolated that's could have been the thoughts i feel like this person really want to get close to you if they haven't been close to you um so yeah they're feeling very, a little isolated from you um maybe they want to open up and tell you how they feel yes i just open speak your truth how is that they want to tell you if they haven't told you all these thoughts and feelings they want to come forward and let you know what is going on in their head okay what's next 
Oh, we have discovery. Yes, so I feel like they definitely want to go and discover some things with you, try some new things with you to see what you like. Um, I definitely feel like this person will let you know when you should let them know. We have self-love. So definitely a pile. Definitely, you need to start loving up on yourself. You know, start falling in love with yourself because I feel like this person is going to come and fall in love with you too. They're going to sweep you off your feet. Try to find time to meditate as well. As I said, you need to do some yoga stretching, uh, meditating. You need to connect with yourself, start loving up on yourself. Um, I feel like this, you know, don't just wait for somebody else to love you. Maybe self-loving in a way that you can start connecting with your body, find out what makes you feel good inside. And now, yeah, your divine masculine could be the one thinking all these thoughts about you. So that's what I'm going for you, power one. I do have one here. I forgot about this abundance you have abundance of love and joy but it's happiness and playfulness coming to you if it's not here already but also remember to try and find time to meditate and find time for self-love self-love can mean many things could be yoga dancing connecting with yourself you, you know your inner self your inner body feel sexy feel good about yourself you know love upon your body in many different ways that you can this is make time for your loved ones as well so yeah, whatever you could do, I feel like this person is definitely in some power. One, some of you guys know this person already, and they want to open up and tell you that they have all these thoughts and things that they want to do. For some of you guys, I feel like you don't know this person, and they want to come forward and let you know this is your divine masculine. Um, you know, want to do these things with you, but I do feel like this person is super, super caring as well. They want you to love yourself too. Um, but they do want to show you some things in the bedroom, which is going to bring a lot more happiness in your life and more joy. And just, you know, why not? <laughs> why not? All right. So let's see your initials power one. One. Let's see what initials we can get for you. First off, I see D. Let's move these out of the way. So I see D. A P. Oh my gosh, a D and a P. That sounds so, so freaky. Um, an R. A T. <laughs> and uh e okay so let's shuffle some other cards here and see what can come out for you guys so yeah, some personal messages for power one what can we get for power one what sexual thoughts and desires are coming from their divine masculine what sexual thoughts desires all right i want to dominate you in bed definitely feeling that definitely feeling that with these cards <laughs> and you are my only fantasy mm. anything else for part one okay we have three more we have i miss your kiss and touch so you definitely could know this person before some of you guys or yeah, been in contact with them, but I haven't seen them in a while and they want to come back and show you these things. Or you just, you knew them, or like online, but I haven't met them in person. So they want to, you know, get to know you, kiss and touch. I want to be close to you as well. So definitely somebody that wants to come back and feel like you are the one for them. And I want to kiss your neck. Definitely a passionate person looking to make you feel good. Not only just, you know, sweep you off your feet in the bedroom but i feel like they do want to show you some love and they do think about you a lot they fantasize about you only so don't feel like this person out here doing these things with everybody or fantasize with everybody else i feel like they only want you okay power one but um that's what i'm getting for you guys i hope that you like this reading just know you have a lot of things going on in your brain or both of your brains but just know but this person is thinking a lot it's thinking to do a lot with you and i feel like they're gonna have a lot of fun doing it because they're super confident and i feel like they want to show that to you okay so enjoy yourselves power one and i hope you enjoyed this reading thank you for watching bye guys power two we have your heart to the round heart well around shape with the heart inside charm 
and we have your dreams card and with the dreams card pile two what i'm seeing so far with you um straight off the bat is that this person is dreaming about you a lot thinking about you a lot maybe at night it doesn't matter if it's at night though but i'm feeling this strong feeling for nighttime feeling thinking when they're going to the bed they're dreaming about you this person could be thinking a lot not only thinking but doing a lot <laughs> while they're in bed and while they're thinking about you um this person could also be texting you talking about you thinking about you yeah or, or, or even manifesting you if they're not dreaming about you could be daydreaming night dreaming could be even just thinking about you in the daytime like i feel like this person is always thinking about you some sort of way and they're probably you're probably thinking about them too you're probably getting little hints and connections with them we have inspirations next or inspiration i should say um this person feel like they have a lot of passion for you in the belly the flood i feel like there's a lot of sexual energy connection um, your aura is just probably inspiring them to come forward even more. They want to show you something. But I feel like you are bring, burning some, you have some passion here. They're dreaming about you. They bring some inspiration for them. I feel like this is why you're, they're thinking about you so much because there's so much energy. The energy is super, super strong and inspiring them to come forward in some sort of way. They want to tell you how they feel. We have the lioness. It says you've earned all your stripes number 13 number four could mean something to you but look at that lady she's sitting there with a book the book says fairy tales and she's got some stretch marks and stuff on her legs and the thighs and her booty and she's you know she's a really light sexy woman like voluptuous so you could be this kind of figure this person could be like in your shape you can have some stretch marks as a matter but you say you've earned your stripes and to be honest we all have stretch marks so it doesn't matter <laughs> whether you have it or not but um yeah you have a great sexy body this person could be enjoying your boobies and like your shape you know they just they like you for who you are basically so don't be ashamed i feel like this person wants you to love upon yourselves um self-love is coming out already and self-care and just being accepted of yourself loving the body maybe you're a confident person or they just want you to love yourself or they want to love upon all of this beautifulness right here okay if you're a voluptuous lady, someone's got their eye on you, but you don't have to be, okay? Next, we have eight, number strength. Number strength, wow. We have eight and strength, sorry. <laughs> okay, we have courage and endurance. So we have a person here that is strong. You are strong, or they could be strong, and they want to show that off to you. They want to show that they're courageous, their endurance in the bedroom, they're strong in the bedroom. They want to show that they're courageous and fun as well. Like, look at this elephant here. He's not shy about anything, you know. So, yeah, this person want to show you their strength, which is always good. So, eventually, when they come forward, you're going to inspire this person to show, bring out all this passion. And I feel like they can't wait to spring on you, basically. Like, they're waiting. I feel like they're waiting to charge forward um, because they've been dreaming a lot and thinking a lot about you and the things that they want to do. So, I'm going to go into these cards which is going to show you what they're thinking about doing so first off we have torrid tug of war um this look like some crazy stuff that like both of you are lying on your back okay i see this this is not too bad this looks very challenging though so yeah we have five sweats there do you see the sweat this is how you're going to be sweating you know so <laughs> please be mindful of that those are the sweats difficulty of it next we have twirler girl raw okay girl. Oh, so you're gonna be twirling twirling is not surfing now you're twirling on it okay so now we have another five one girl i'm telling you oh man you're gonna be doing the most with this one power to twirler girl you know i've never seen this one this is so so funny but it looks fun as well so let's go ahead and find out the next one is called mover and shake <laughs> Hey, that's funny. I like this. This is this is fun. Um, so definitely like a dancing thing going on right here. Um, as I said, I feel like this person definitely has some inspiring thoughts about you, and you know, inspired them to come out with the weirdest things, probably. But I feel like you'll enjoy it. We have slippery when wet. Okay, just add water. This is like in the shower. Um, you know, I feel like this person definitely like um to be behind for some reason behind you or just you know taking charge um confidence 
and back up boogie next okay i see yeah they definitely like to they, they like to hold a bum i feel like they're definitely a booty guy or just a person that likes to be in domination in charge and um, you, you definitely see the hair they like holding your base they lower back they're not too um i don't feel like they're too hard on you I feel like this person definitely like it from the back and holding the waist and the lower back situation so far. Face to face fandango. Okay, they do they do face to face too. Okay, okay, I thought it was just the back, sir or ma'am. Um so we have face to face fandango. And lastly, sexy scissors. I don't know why my camera is going in and out like this, but I'm trying not to move the pictures or the cards too much, I should say. So we have this one. It's not too bad, but I feel like it's definitely going to be placed on the table. Some spontaneous stuff going on here, guys. Like it's going to be anywhere where they want it. They're going to take it, sort of things, sexy scissors, put your legs up. Make sure you're flexible. Make sure you don't get as, as, um, as what do you call it? There's this thing they call um, a stitch. So make sure you do your stretches, okay, if I have to. So let me go ahead and get some more messages about your person, what they want to tell you, their thoughts, and desires, and feelings. If I have to. What could come up for you? Anything else? Okay. So we got a few for you, pal, too. Let's see what this person's thinking. What do they want to let you know? Oh, some of you guys' this person could be switching jobs. So yeah, I'm feeling like with this, if they're switching jobs, they could be um, having more time to be with you or, you know, or maybe they already have time to be with you. Maybe they can get closer to you. Switching jobs could mean something for some of you guys. So yeah, let me know, pal, too. We have inner peace, meditate. Some of you guys probably need to start meditating and maybe you connected with your person that through that. Maybe that's one of the things you guys do like to do as well. Maybe that's how with the dream card and inspiration card, maybe that's how you guys connect. And you know, and I feel like complacency is next. So this person could be feeling stuck right now to come forward to do all these things. They're the thing, especially with switching jobs and inner peace. I feel like they're feeling kind of complacent where they are. If they haven't come forward and let you know how they truly feel. But they're trying to get rid of it. They're trying to get rid of complacency, feeling too comfortable, feeling too stuck. Because they're dreaming about you and thinking about you so much. They're inspired to come forward. They're trying to see things from a different perception. Okay? They're trying to get a different viewing things okay but i feel like as i said they're dreaming a lot thinking a lot about you and um, they're going through so much this person's probably asking for forgiveness wanting forgiveness if you've known this person already they're looking to come back for forgiveness but they're feeling a bit stuck don't know how to do it but they still have some sexual desires and thoughts about you though okay obviously they have lots okay lots of desires but they do have some feelings. And again, this could be for power too. This could be your divine masculine. Having these things, feelings and thoughts and desires and fantasies about you. Okay? So let's go ahead and get your initials. Again, I'm going to shuffle some cards at the end. So stay tuned for that. Initials for power too, please. Spirit. We have a G. Pile two. We have an I or an H. H or an I. We have a, let's see what this is, a Z or an N. And we have a Y. Okay. So let's go ahead and get some more cards for you, pile two. This person definitely feels you, they think about you, they want to come forward. I feel like you guys have some history. Um, yeah, and they want to tell you how they feel. But they feel like they're a bit stuck and they're trying to get rid of that. They're trying to move away from that and they're trying to come forward to you. So let's find out how to what else they want to tell you how they're feeling um, about you sexually. What are they fantasizing? That one just flipped up right to the screen. Hold on, I'll just pick it up for you guys. So let me lick you up and down, you know. Okay. <laughs> Pile two, see what they're thinking. That's one of their main thoughts. 
Okay. I want to kiss your neck. Yes. Take your clothes off, kiss your neck, rub you down. I miss you kissing your touch. This person is missing you. Definitely, I feel like some of you guys could be in contact with this person already or know this person already. Um, not everybody, but I feel like you definitely have some sort of connection. Imagine you. Okay, I told you. And number eight, eight could mean something or eight. But they imagine you mean you. Definitely. With this card, dreams and inspiration, these two first cards that came up. They are definitely thinking about you. And look, I told you guys, I knew this was going to come up for some reason. I want to dominate in bed. I feel it. And they're imagining it so, so much. It is just, I feel like it's driving them crazy. It is driving them super, super crazy, guys. Like, come on. And under the deck, I, excuse me, why are you so sexy? So I told you guys, whether you are thick, thin, whatever shape you are, whatever, if you have stretch marks or not, this person like you. For who you are how you shape everything about you they find you very sexy and i definitely feel like if they want to come forward again and let you know how they truly feel and the things that they want to do they're really going to come forward and let you know because i feel like they can't take it anymore the, the, the dreams are going out of control they know that the desires and the passion for you is like taking over the whole body right now and yes they do want to tell you these things but they want forgiveness i feel like some of them want to find peace within themselves but wants you to find peace within yourself too and they also want you to have faith in them okay forgive them and have faith in them but they're trying to see things from a different perception i feel like some of them could be as well as i said could be switching jobs you could be switching jobs maybe you're moving closer to them or they're feeling some sort of inspiration but you know power to definitely look out for a lot of fun in your life um this person is very courageous they have the endurance and the strength to carry out all these things in the bedroom and in general <laughs> okay but yeah trust in them believe in them and everything that they do say because they do mean it okay so forgive them if you feel like you need to remember nothing is set in stone and you do what you do need to do because this is um, your life and you choose your best you know what's best for you i want to say so i hope you enjoyed this reading let me know what you think in the comment section and i hope to see her again all right pal two love you bye pal three we have your heart charm this little heart charm here um it actually have a little flower on there so maybe that means something you heart and flower and then we have reconciliation so somebody probably wants to come back and reconcile with you, Power 3. Um, yeah, they want to get the, yeah, they're thinking about coming back. And they want to reconcile, get things spicy again. They have a lot of thoughts about you. Feel, they're thinking about this quite a lot. I feel like they, if they're not thinking about it, they're trying to manifest the situation back into some kind of fruition. <laughs> But they wanted to trust. They want to trust you, or you want. They want you to trust them. I'm saying, or I'm getting. Um, could be both ways. But I feel like they are looking for trust. They feel probably a bit lost without you thinking about you. But they want reconciliation in some sort of way, and I feel like you definitely probably want that. We're thinking about it. You probably want somebody you can trust. Um, somebody that you can connect with deep connection maybe you already have a deep connection with this person but for like if if that's the case they want to come back and they want trust again i feel like they feel like you can trust them or they trusted you in the past and something happened um but yeah i feel like they do want to come back okay um we have um next evil queen number two could mean something to you but pal um yeah pal pal free you deserve sugar not salt basically you're not an evil person. I feel like you're definitely a kind-hearted person. You're a trustworthy person. I feel like this person knew they could have trusted you. Or they know they can trust you. And they want you to trust them. But, you know, if this person or anybody has been treating you funny, you're giving you kind of some saltiness or bitterness in the past, you don't deserve that. You know that. And I feel like anybody that wants to come forward now going to have to treat you with some sugar, with some love, with some respect. And I feel like you deserve this. So power three, you deserve sugar, not salt. Please try and remember that when you are dealing with anyone, especially when it comes to anything explicit, anything when it comes to love and connection with people, deep connection, you don't want any bad soul ties with anybody. So, you know, don't have no salty people around you, people that you can't trust. But if this person is something or somebody like that and you don't feel like you want to reconnect with them or reconcile with them, please don't do that. 
right? We have the Knight of Acorns, Action and Drive. This person has a lot of action and drive and passion. They want to charge forward like this ball right here. They want to bore into your life. They're <laughs> joking. They want to bore into you, basically. They want to come forward. They want to take action, drive. I feel like they want to charge into your life and show you that they really want to reconcile with you. They really want to start up something. Um, they really want you to trust in them. Um, they really want to show you something sweet, something different that you never had. I feel like this person definitely wants to, you know, show you their passion, what they have for you. And, um, you know, if you really want this, you will definitely get it because I feel like they do, do trust you. So we have for you guys, we're going to start off these before I get into your initials and some other messages. We have wrote is boat for some of the desires and thoughts and passions and whatever is going on in their mind. You know, they see things differently, uh, men or women, you know, we all see things differently. So this is one of the things that they want to do is row their boat. Yep, yeah, sit and row the boat, baby. All right, what's next? We have now and Zen. Oh, that's really, really nice. Now and then, it's like some spooning situation. I don't know what's going on here, but that looks comfy and not too hard. You know, when you look at the switch challenge, you know, you definitely see what you're getting into. And this looks like a person that definitely wants to bring some sweet loving into your life. G-Force is next. <laughs> oh, my God, guys. Look at that. Be careful out there. Okay, if I'm free, be careful. You have to be um because these are challenging a little bit but we have the submarine again just add water all you need is a little pool or jacuzzi i don't know whatever you want to be in wherever you could be in okay just add some water okay time bomb next time bomb situation look at that this is a lot of fun stuff i feel like you two are going to be having fun whatever you may be doing um, always connecting with each other. This is a lot of deep connection and reconciliation. I feel like a lot of um, passionate stuff here, up up and away. I don't feel like this is a one-sided connection. I feel like both of you really want this um, feeling, these connections. You have both probably having these desires for each other. Leaf is for Vixen. They're probably years of Vixen. You're probably a bit older than them, or it doesn't have to be, but they're definitely finding you passionate and um enduring enjoying and alluring and enchanting i'm getting all these words coming out <laughs> but um definitely a lot to think about and a lot to do when they meet you next time if they haven't met you yet i feel like they have a lot on their mind and they want you to trust them that they don't hurt you'll break your back in doing it too so definitely a very very calming person but i feel like a fun person too Right, so make sure you know that this person has a lot of action and drive and passion for you. Um, you know, even though they do just want you to trust them and reconcile with them, and but I feel like they do have a lot of sweet, 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 sweet um loving to give to you, um whether it be explicit or just in general. Okay, right, let's get these messages of messages out. Pound three. Let's see what I can get you. Three, you are my only fantasy. Told you guys, they're fantasizing about you a lot, and they want you to trust them and they want to come back because they know that you can trust them and they can trust you. Sorry, I'm just drinking some tea. So, I, I know that they have this trust thing with you, and I feel like if they did treat you bad in the past, they want to come back. Not for everybody, but I feel like some of you guys could have treated you funny in the, in the past, okay. It's true, I crave you. Told you guys, they want to come back. Yep, I want to be close to you. They want to come back and show you these things, tell you these things. What's next? Can we get to power three? I'm imagining me and you together. Mm -hmm. I feel that strongly. Let's see what we can get for you guys, pal. Three, what other thoughts? What's going on in their mind? What could they be thinking right now? Oh, they could have been thinking this in the past. That's why they probably left for some of you guys and needed some space. Or you could have needed space. They had to go away, but they had to want to come back and reconcile. Um, 
but we have growth so some of them could have wanted to grow a little bit you know they need growth they need to grow up or something yeah i'm getting that they probably know how to treat you i'm not saying this is for everybody so some of you guys is what your person was feeling i was scared to love you oh i'm scared to love you yep i feel like they were but they still thought about you a lot imagine you a lot they daydream about you but they want to come back now to reconcile some of you guys <laughs> brown eyes you could have brown eyes and they're enchanted by your brown eyes they love your brown eyes could be one of your features um sometimes the right time is now the person is realizing that and they want to come back to you now they're realizing it probably a little bit too late but let's see what you choose five for you let me know what you're up to what you're going to choose but they're realizing the time is now and they're not going to wait curly hair some of them could have curly hair or you could have curly hair so these features could be your features um you make my heart skip a beat look at that power three i told you this person craves you and they want you and they don't know what they did they don't know what they did but they're trying to you know trying to think of all the good things about you and this is why they're coming back or want to come back we have entrepreneur business owner so you or your person could have been focused on that or just was dealing with that and they are or just doing that right now this could be their job your job um sorry about any noise that you're hearing in the background and we have wears glasses so you or your person could wear glasses and or for fashion or just for you know just just the way they they style themselves and then we have, you have the answers, power three. You have the answers, as I told you. You know what to do. You're going to choose what's right. You're going to, um, you know, if you want to reconcile this person, or take them back to connect with them or have any kind of soul ties with them again. All you have to do is trust yourself, trust them, and trust your direction, trust your feelings, trust your heart, follow your heart, basically. But just know that you have the answers. You choose what you want to do. You know what's right. You know what's wrong. Okay, let's get your initials. Oh, that's a lot. All right. Pile three, the first one I see for you guys is you. You matter. You deserve love. Okay, remember that. We have Q. So whatever questions you have, maybe you have the answers for them. You just saw that come up. We have J and M. Or w and then uh, next I see a R and then a Y if he was questioning why this person want to come back <laughs> it doesn't have to be but we have a P next P and next an L and then two so two could mean something to you guys Two definitely definitely means something to you because we have number two on this card too. So power two, this could also mean like two weeks, two days. It could be the second of a month or second of something, you know. Um, it could mean two of you, two people want to come back to reconcile. Two people in love, two people connecting, you know, two people doing all these things. <laughs> yeah, it takes two to do these things, isn't it? So yeah, this person definitely want to connect with you. They only think about you, they crave you, they're only thinking about me, you, me, and you. And again, they want to be close to you. All these cards prove that. And I hope that you trust yourself, trust your instincts and know that whatever you choose is all up to you. You have the answers. You have the feelings within you and you know your person. Because I feel like a lot of you guys are connected already with this person, Power 3. So let me know if any of these resonate with you. I'd love to hear from you guys in the comment section. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. And I hope to see you guys here again. Bye, guys.